in, in Silicon Valley, and I think this would generally apply in much of Latin America as well, the standard vesting schedule or term is four years. So the, the, the idea, the philosophy behind that is, you know, four years is a pretty good amount of time to know that this employee has created value for the company and will be able to monetize that equity at some point, you know, thereafter. Um, sometimes in, in cases where a company takes longer to, to grow, that there may be additional equity with new vesting terms. But generally, four years is, that is the schedule that is used to vest. Um, and then you have what you oftentimes a cliff, where you don't vest as a new hire or a new employee until 12 months have elapsed. And the idea there is it's a trial period. You're in those first 12 months, you know, still finding your groove, still proving your value to the company. After 12 months, yeah, you, you've shown that you, you're a good valued member of the team and then you're gonna invest thereafter in equal monthly installments. That's usually the, the, the standard. And what's, that's what people refer to as a four year cliff, four year vesting schedule with a one year cliff. I'm talking here about rank and file employees, like standard employees. Founders are in a different bucket, right? Founders are there at the beginning. They're taking the highest amount of risk. They're getting the most amount on the cap table. Generally speaking for founders, you don't have a cliff. You don't have a, a trial period. The idea being you guys are in it, you know, you, you, you're kind of demonstrating value from day one. You don't need a trial period, but you do have the need for vesting as founders. And if Brian, if you're founding a company with Thomas and Yuri, and the three of you are in it together, even if you guys are lifelong friends and you went to you know, kindergarten together, you know each other through thick and thin, you're still gonna wanna have, have vesting on your shares to protect each of you vis-a-vis -vis the others and vis-a-vis -vis the company as a whole. Why? Because we've all, we, we have seen situations where the three founders go in it, they don't create vesting on their shares, they own their shares outright, and then nine months later, either something happens to one's health or, or somebody's life situation changes. They go off to the Himalayas and you know, meditate. They're no longer creating value for the company, but without vesting, if their shares are fully vested, they've just walked away with all of their equity, which can be a significant amount for a founder. So our, our advice for really every startup situation is make sure the founding team and the rank and file have vesting on their equity.